Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and we are back at my little beachside something. Uh, <laughs> uh, last week, we had two Coffee Craft streams. The normal Tuesday one, and I did another one on Friday because uh, I wasn't quite mentally up to the task of doing Games Revisited, uh, which sadly makes that two weeks now that I have not done Games Revisited. I will fix that this coming Friday. So we, we will get, we'll get back on track, I promise. Uh, in the meantime, on Friday's stream, we kind of laid out the foundation, literally, for a lighthouse that I've been meaning to put on this island for ever. Um, I think I want to move it back just a little bit and re-terraform a little bit of the landscape. Uh, but I also think that I want to build a rock outcrop. So I'm going to take my template and move it up a few blocks. You'll also notice a few other things look different, like my barrels of storage in the sand have moved. <laughs> uh, the vast array of random extra stuff has moved. Uh, last weekend, I, I, I sat the puppies on the roof. I, don't ask me why. I, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you why. I sat the puppies on the roof. I moved all my storage back to the back side of the house. I added a, a little uh, fenced-in area to to put the uh, llamas and the mule. Not all the llamas made it, sadly. Um, although I've got a couple that are tied up down in the storage area that I haven't gotten around to picking back up and bringing over here. And uh, I put the cats inside along with the bed and all the stuff. Uh, this is a different setup than the way I had this uh, starter shack when I was last actually working out of it, but hey, this works. It'll be alright. It'll be fine. It, it's temporary. I mean, we're going on a year and three months of temporary, but you know, the temporary, temporary doesn't have a date range. Much. Anyway. <laughs> so... I'm going to do a little more terraforming in this island than I'd originally planned on. Like, I, I originally was just going to build this on the sand, run it up, and, and call it done. But I, I think I really want this thing to sit on um, more of a rocky outcrop. So there'll be uh, a rock going into the water on the front and then sand on the backside where it's been protected by the lighthouse from the weather. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember my exact palette. I, I'd like have to go back and, uh, look at the live stream to, to see what I actually for sure chose for my color palette. I want to say that it was the, uh, stone brick for the base in no small part because that's what I put down and it was going to be, uh, alternating rings of blackstone stuff and endstone stuff. Um, which I may, I may still do, although I'm honestly tempted to switch it up a little bit and put blackstone as the foundation and then do endstone and regular stone or endstone and quartz or I don't know. I, I might revisit that decision, even though I know I came to a conclusion on Friday. I was settled in it. I was certain of it. So certain that I took down my, my palette template and, uh, and here we are on Tuesday going, hmm, maybe, I don't know. <sighs> the, ladies and gentlemen, this is why the chapel still does not have a roof, however many months later. And why I'm starting a new project instead of finishing that one. <laughs> um... So we, we, yeah, I, I will come back to that one. I was originally going to work on that over the weekend, and then I ended up having to move the uh, storage stuff off of the island so I'd have room to work. I still got to finish building the crop farms in the base of this guy here and figuring out what is going on with this guy here. But I also need to build a building around him, and I don't know what design I want to do for that, so I'm kind of holding off on that. 
and I need to extend out that storage, but I need the lumber to do so. So I need to get the farm working first. Then once I get the farm working, I can go and, and get the lumber I need to make the rest of that work. And no wonder why Scar does this all the time. This is kind of fun to just fly around and chat while flying. Um, except for the part that I need more rockets, I think. I thought I had another stack. Thank you. I appreciate that. There we go. I got more rockets now. All right. Where to next? All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. That. That's gonna have to wait until I can. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It. It. It's timing. The time. The timing is wrong somewhere. I think I may have to partially deconstruct bits of it and then reconstruct it. Which. Now. Now you know why it's been sitting there. Oh. Um. And. And. Somebody make sure that I remember to mention to Medic that uh, I got so many mini heads from the Wandering Trader that uh, I had to go to our uh, totally not an Amazon storage locker storage locker. Because uh, he didn't have room for all these guys in his mailbox. Which is why we did those. So you could do something like this and just, you know, <laughs> thanks. Thanks. The medic knows that he's got hub 122. Oh. Okay. You, know, you guys keep that stuff up. I'll start like changing the server direction to so east is west and west is east, or maybe I'll change the language of Russian or something. I mean, I should probably change it over to Gaelic anyway. Hi, Pinky. How are you doing today? Still going to do the terraforming to cover up that monstrosity too, but I'll leave that for another day. Uh, oh, 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 I needed to see what kind of end stone we had, because I might, that, that might be <laughs> what I spend a little bit of time on right now. Um, I would be highly, highly surprised if Gaelic wasn't like a lot of European languages in that instead of having technology terms of their own, they, they just use a lot of American terms. Like it, all, it boggles my mind the number of times that I've heard, uh, various foreign correspondents for tech services start spouting off I, I know not what in their native language and then all of a sudden hear USB and various other technology terms and, and it's just like I I caught the technology terms I, I can guess what you're talking about based on that maybe uh, hmm. And hopefully, uh, Sound of Steve gets on or watches this later because I need to make a uh, oh, watch the flight. Uh, I need to make a minor correction to some information I gave him on Friday's stream. I had to. I was looking for something else, and I came across a diagram that I, I don't have set up in a way that I can, uh... Oh, fine. I'll put those in there for now. No, not lied. Um, I got the numbers wrong. It is... So, from where you are standing... Like, actually... I did not lie to Sound of Steve. I was, however, wrong. And there you go. 
I set it in a format that you can clip and play back to me whenever you choose to, and I regret instantly doing that. I, I don't know who misinformation is, but she's somewhere else. No, no, that, that is not what the pillager can say. All right, so, uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, I, every time I hear one of those burning, I, I suddenly get a little word. Um, since if Steve's not there, he'll probably see it on the replay. The, the question was about mob spawning ranges. So if that's the player, then 16 blocks away, so we're at uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc., 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 out to 16 blocks away, from inside the 16th block away, mob spawners will start turning on. It's 24 blocks away, and inside that other mobs spawn randomly. I thought that was 32. I was wrong. It's 24. 32 is when mobs spawn, but don't move around and can randomly despawn, potentially. Uh, there's lots of asterisks and technical stuff be it, that's way beyond the scope of the question. The, the, the question was just how far away stuff you know, suddenly appears on you. And then it's 128 blocks away that mobs no longer start spawning. And that's what started the question was uh, we were looking over at the witch farm and... Uh, are you kidding me? Come on, break. Okay, fine. Um... We were looking at the mob farm and talking about why the AFK spot was so high. And it's so that way mobs didn't spawn anywhere other than the farm. Because the only area within the 128 block sphere uh, was the farm. I'll put that away later. And then I thought it was within uh, 32 blocks they don't spawn, and it is within 24 blocks they don't spawn. Which, incidentally, is why I really wish Vanilla Minecraft would add a feature that is in Optifine, where in Opti... I, I actually don't have a light source on me. In Optifine, if you hold a light source in your hand or in your offhand it will actually provide illumination near you. So you go walking around with a torch in your hand or your offhand, Optifine will light the area around you. Um, and I wish I wish the regular game worked that way too because they're not going to spawn within the area of the light anyway. The, the light is going to light up an area that mobs wouldn't normally spawn anyway. And... It makes sense. You're carrying a torch or a sea lantern or, or, or a glowstone block or, you know, that, the shroom lights. Um, anyway. All right. Rant over. Let's um need to figure out. I need to move this guy forward a little bit more. Figure out. Hey, hey, hey. I need to move this guy. I th well, I think I want to move him forward. I'm not 100% sold on that. Oh, no. You're, you're not the only one. I, I'm sure if we put our mind to it, we could find the perfect question to ask Oriest to get a soapbox going there, too. thinking I want to move this slightly that way and 
I think I'm going to have to move it back a little bit to do that. Yeah, because I want to build a little shack over here. And then a path maybe over that or a path around the back. Yeah, yeah, minis, brushes. Um, and, and I'm sure we could come up with a few more. I'll, I'll be nice enough to not. At least until she's here. Also need to move this stuff out of the way because I'm going to be uh No, they're not soap boxes, they're soap boxes. <laughs> yes, Reyest and I had a very interesting D D discussion uh a little bit ago a couple of days ago too, that uh Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll stay away from the email one. That, that, that can be a little bit of a soapbox for me, too. Alright, let me move these guys. And in stone. And a bed. A crafting table. And an ender chest. And I'm going to need a stone. You know, I used to have like 30 stone cutters. And I have no idea where the rest of them went. They, they seem to disappear. I'm debating on actually going and crafting a, another stack of them while I'm... Yeah, it'll only take a minute. Ish. Yeah. I mean, this is why I call it casual crafting. I, I'm not sticking to any particular plan. I'm not making a plan. I'm... I... I th this is just going to be a Minecraft and chill day. Is the recipe for a stone cutter. Is... Three stone and iron ingot. used to be over there. Alright. Three stone and an iron ingot. There. That should be all set. Put half of them away. Oh, why do we have a stack and a bunch of st I think I answered the question of where all my stone cutters went. Doggone it. <laughs> where did all my stone cutters get? I don't know, they kept getting picked up and put in storage. How about that? Let's see if we can get to the island in time. Because this area needs to get lit up badly. It, it is a plane of death. Mighty night. No, no, no. Mighty night. Mighty night. Sun's going down. There we go. Oh, that seems very precarious. I, I just I just realized that I am sleeping next to a spinning blade. That that only happens when I go to cut a bridge first thing in the morning. Oh, oh, that's what I heard. Hi, would you like to donate to the Tridents for the Coffee Craft Server Fund? Did he? No. Oh. I thought for sure he would like to donate to the uh, server's 
missing Trident Fund. That was an odd sound, that. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no Trident today. For shame. Um, oh, and this is why I'm so low on rockets, because rather than walk all my stuff from there all the way around <laughs> here, I, I just hit the rocket and... Uh, yeah, just flew him back and forth because I was too lazy to walk. All right. So... I need to move this back. And... Back that way. Because I want the middle of this to appear... Here means I'm definitely gonna have to do some some terraining. All right. Let's tear up all this hard work. No, oh, and I should probably build it a little bit higher anyway, because I was gonna build. I wanted to. I think I wanted to make this. Hmm. Let me, let me stop and finish that thought before. I was actually thinking about building the rock upon which the lighthouse sat maybe a block or two above the level of the island as opposed to level with the island. Yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. Oh, I should probably actually try to remember... Uh, what the pattern was for making this circle. Three. Three. Two and then two. Okay. That works. I'm sure I'll totally remember that in the next two minutes. What's the name of that fish with the memory issues and uh, something with Nemo? The Dory or Nori? Oh no, those were the dwarves, weren't they? What about Dory? Fish are most definitely food. Very, very tasty food. Rugas keeps trying to tell me that I should be okay with not cooking it too. Which is funny given that it's Rugas telling me this. Like, I, for some reason I am... I should probably actually, like, denote where the center is. Sushi! You're the one that keeps trying to get me to try sushi! And not Sushi Go, the game, either. You're not the person I expected to, uh, to suggest sushi, either. I've seen how you cook your steak. What does having what does being cute have to do with anything? I don't know. Sushi is very cute when it's arranged on the plate just so.
I mean, the little tuna. Is tuna one of the sushi meats? I mean, we could just split the difference and grab some sake and... circle for the lighthouse. Uh, that puts this wall hanging out over the water. wonder though. No, because if, if I move it this way, then this part of the wall and this part of the wall would be hanging over? Hmm. that much. I wouldn't mind having the having a little bit of shoring up on that side of the shore anyway. Although I hate that I I went through all the effort to put all that sand there. That this was not a natural sandbar. I put all that sand there to decorate it out. And I think I'm gonna end up moving it again. Yeah, I think, uh... I think I want to move this maybe... Two more blocks in? Yeah, let me move that two more blocks in. be something that uh, gathers wool blocks faster. I know there was some talk at one point in time of maybe making it so that way the shears picked up wool blocks faster. Or did they? Or did they add that? Did they add that and I just forgot about it? Is that a thing? And I just forgot. I can figure that out in just a minute. Where's my... Uh, years of unbreaking, mending, and efficiency. Oh. Oh. What, why did I forget about that? How did I forget about that? I know why. How? How did I forget about that? Never mind. I think we answered that earlier. Just keep crafting. Just keep crafting. Crafting, crafting, crafting. No? Or is that a different one? Right, that actually... That keeps us mostly on the island. Oh no, that does keep it on the island completely. Alright. That still looks very precarious. And I still need to finish um, the the data pack that I've been meaning to put together. I 
started to I never got that far but um it's w it, I wanted to put together a data pack that would allow you to put logs into the stone cutter and get the same kind of crafting and efficiency um because seriously that's a table saw why can I not cut stairs more efficiently using a table saw why can't my character cut stairs more efficiently with a table saw? I mean, if it's the bandsaw we use at work, I know exactly why he can't cut nothing efficiently. Yes, and if it's sharp enough to cut stone, it's sure sharp enough to cut lumber. Especially birch. The oak might be a little bit of a challenge, but... uh the spruce won't be. I don't know about acacia. I, I've never worked with acacia. Sure. Alright. Now I'm back to the original question. Do I want to build a little more rocky island to this or do I want to just put the base flat on this? All right, while I'm pondering that, let me go back to uh, palette selection. So I can change my mind yet again. All right. So the original thought was going to be a foundation of two to some odd stone and then alternating black stone and stone black stone etc etc I think is what I originally wanted I, I just I don't like the uh, yeah, if I did it, I would definitely do the black stone then the end stone rather than the other way around. Because I don't, I don't want the end stone and the brick together. That, yeah. Uh, where's my quartz? Because the other option was going to be something like maybe like a so. Or, do I go like so? So I wanted to stick to stuff that had a brick lake pattern. I know, I'm like, 90% sure I want to work in some end stone because I want it to look a little more weathered and, and I can definitely do that with cracked and mossy brick and cracked uh, black stone and uh, some of the other techniques that I used up on the nether roof build um, well, I, I, I guess there is also the question of I'm running out of places to put pallets uh, What if I did a blackstone base and then something like that? No, 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 no. That, that, that's a nope. That's a big nope. No. No. That's still an option. Although I've been playing with so much quartz, especially over at the chapel. I don't know that I want to do any more quartz. Well, that does look kind of nice with the, the quartz and the blackstone. Get the alternating stripes in there. 
Uh, and then do I stick with the stone as a base? Hmm. I could. Do something like that, too. Sorry, it's too much trouble to grab grab end stone. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave that laying around. And do the black stone as a base and then alternating the bands of quartz and stone brick. If I remember right, this was the basic idea that I was going to go with that I ended up picking at the end of Friday's stream. Although I'd have to go go back and watch that again to be sure. I don't like that. I don't like I don't like the quartz and the end stone. Same I am. We can still read that book, right? definitely out. That one, that, that, yeah, no. That one was, what was another one? Uh, no. That's got possibility. And I don't have to go hunting for the resources all that hard. We got two stonemasons who will be more than happy to trade me all the quartz blocks I want. And we've got enough blackstone sitting over at the, uh, the trading hall with the piglins that, uh, I, I think we should have more than enough to build this. Although, um, oh, I meant to. All right. Let me see if I can get this to work. There is a website called Plots. P L O T Z dot C O dot U K, and they provide some tools for uh, modeling various shapes, lighthouses being one of them. Um. Oh. I, I, oh. Okay. And I just realized I picked the wrong model to build off of, too. But, uh, let's see. Uh, let me go, let me go stash myself somewhere. Oh! Safe. There we go. Alright, so that's going to show the window that's off to my side there. So, uh... Oh, but it cuts off the bottom. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix that for another for later anyway. Uh, so anyway, it, it actually gives you the option to see, uh, you know, 2D, 3D, layer by layer, how to build what you've modeled out. and walk you through each each layer as you go and uh, down at the bottom just off of where things cut out you can actually pick and, and choose the diameter so you can change yeah the the diameter how many floors there are how many how many steps per floor and that kind of thing and, and it's it is really nice and that is uh, P L O T Z dot C O dot U K. Uh, if I remember, I'll uh, I'll put a uh, link in the description. Actually, uh, I'm talking about how I am the admin. I can at least put it in chat. And they have uh, they have lighthouses. They have um, what else they got? They got lighthouses, spheres, ellipses, wizards' towers, giant snowmen. Um, 
you, you can sketch out an observatory, you know, figure out the diameter and the height and all that. Um, donuts, although for some reason they call them Taurus. All right. I'll stop making all the uh, geometry majors cringe. You know what I need? I need a bunch of name tags that are silence me so I can silence these stupid cats. Oh! You got cats? I should probably go, like, uh, move the other guys that I teamed over here, too. You know what? Let, let me do that now. Let me do that now. So that way Reyes can see that I, I have I have taken care of the cats. And they will not sit there like some artifact for a future person to unearth. Is it here? Yeah. One, two, three, four. There's two, three. Hey, where's the fourth one? Oh, there we are. There we go. Come on, guys. There we go. Come on. Kind of wish there was a way to... to set these guys like a, uh, a home block or something like that so that way they wouldn't uh, wander wander away from the house get back here sit I'll put them inside the shed later there you go Rast there are no longer cats in a hole in the ground you're welcome you can stop giving me a hard time about it now. No, you're not. I know you're not. I'm going to need a little more dirt to patch that up, though. Um, I will re asked, where would I put the banners? There we go. I still need to uh, tame a couple of the foxen. I still need to get the sweetberry farm for those guys to, so they're not sitting in a funky cage over there. I mean, I, I guess I could just, you know, bury them in the cat hole for their own protection. Onward and forward. Or at least onward. But now we're back to... Do I go with the yellow and black stripes and a stone base? Do I go with a black stone base and... white and gray or white and black? Oh, I'm, I wouldn't do the white and black if I do the black stone base. I go with the stone base and uh, black and white stripes. Nah, I'm going to stick with that. Uh, I want something with a little more aged look to it, and that, that definitely, that screams weathered. Like, it might have been white at one point, but it's been sitting on the coast.
I think that's the same decision I came to last week. Through the same process. Again. This time, I might just leave that up as a, rem <laughs> as a reminder. Maybe? Possibly? Nah. Uh, oh. I think I know where that quartz came from, too. Oh, 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 oh. I'm missing a quartz block. Where'd it go? That should be a stack of 64. There we go. I, I hope the Elytra doesn't fail me on live stream. Okay. I should be good. Oh. Uh, that was those guys. That was that. One of these. There we go. I'm probably going to have to spend a day over at the end doing nothing but get end stone so I can make those end stone bricks because uh, I don't think I got enough of those. Um, and I think I might throw some random end stone in to give it a little more of a weathered, like that's where the stone even got worn down. Just like I'll do the same with the blackstone and put some random blackstone as well as the cracked bricks. I kind of wish they'd let you do cracked end stone bricks. That has the potential to be cool. in a square world. Or some people might say it, a squareular world. I think I've actually got this set up so I don't have to add any more island to my island, too. Two, three, one. I mean, I, 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 I totally planned that and mapped it out and it came out to a perfect fit on the island. Well, I might fill in another block or two around the corners here to give you a little walking room or something. I don't know. I wonder what I'll do out in the front of the island. I can't just leave it empty. Uh, well, and that would be the other question too, no, wouldn't it? Do I want to raise that up any? Or just leave that sitting on the flat? Although if I leave that sitting on the flat island, that makes adding a proper shack here a little bit easier. And maybe even a back door right here. Yeah, I'll I'll build it flat. I'll build. I will build it flat on the ground. That. Um. And I know this is different than. I'm already deviating from the design. 
but I think for the foundation I'll only make it three tall instead of the four high for each of the stripes. I'll come back through and uh, weather this later, adding in the crack stone and the that kind of stuff. Unless we get a bunch in storage, because I don't think I have much on me at the moment. I mean, if only I had an array of furnaces that I could go cook some up right this minute. If only I'd brought enough stone with me. hoping that would work. I don't feel like wasting a whole bucket of lava on this project. Because uh, we're at 20, 40, right? Or is that going to... That, that might end up... Uh, yeah, that might end up... Uh, not finishing a thought. That's what that might end up not doing. That, that might... <laughs> <laughs> no, not being enough crack stone. Uh, I also need some mossy stone. I need to get another vine farm going. I need to find a way to make an automated vine farm, but I don't think there is such an animal yet. Although, I am looking forward to... in... Uh, in 1.17, the, the latest snapshot now lets you use the moss blocks to make mossy stone. Oh wow, we don't have a lot of mossy stone, do we? Get a little bit of mossy cobble. You know, I might throw a little bit of that in there. Variety. Oh, we've already got a fair amount of cracked. Okay, well I got some cooking. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll, I guess I'll have to go back to farming some uh, farming some more vines in the off time. And in fact, let me go let me go harvest whatever's sitting there right now. Of course, my uh, utility box that has my shears of awesomeness are back on the island. Because why would I have that on me when I would possibly need it? a vine farm like an automated vine farm this is not a vine farm this is a place where you can gather vines I want something that I can just walk up and it will have a stack of vines whenever we finally get around to needing it uh, preferably doesn't go through iron like this either I mean man, what do you think that stuff does grow on trees I guess we got a little bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll retrain a little bit of the top of that island so it's not all sand. 
uh, re-add a bunch of the stone texture. That might be good. from it. Definitely gonna need to uh, I'm gonna have the shack that goes in there like so. Need to leave that open. Did it get darker or is it just me? My eyes get dim. Hush. <laughs> I know comments coming up next. any of the stone. Stone too. I'll pepper that in a minute. Hmm. like that. stone.
six, seven. Yeah. Did I not? Did I draw my circle right? Now the plots model is coming out really weird. See what that plane is like when I don't sleep. All right. Start back over here now that we can go through a couple of crack stone like that. I don't even know that's going to be the size of the opening for the shack. Because I think I might end up building the shack a little bit bigger. But, uh, that's not a bad start at least. something or other. I think we were even joking about that earlier, weren't we? Alright, so we got around there. Uh, let's throw another cracked there and there, maybe? And there. See there and there. Check on the inside and then we'll uh, pick up some more of the cooked, the cracked stone. Need a kelp farm now that I'm thinking about it too. Maybe they'll put a giant kelp farm inside. I don't even know what I'm putting inside the lighthouse other than some sort of light at the top.
didn't math out the uh, the plots model right. I'll figure it out later. We'll put another crack there. We'll go mossy, mossy. on the bottom there as soon as I pick up the stuff that I know is sitting on the other side. And some more of that cracked stone should be ready because I'm down to my last 11 in hand. Gotta fix that. Fix it. Oh, never mind. Uh, that's where all my XP is going, right there. Only we had a farm that would give me massive amounts of XP. I really would like to find a better way to light this island too. I definitely do not like the torches. The 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 group close rooms almost fit in. That orange wasn't quite so orange. They'd fit in a little bit better. Although, I don't know. I can't put seagrass on there. I can't put regular grass on there. There's no carpet that's going to look right on there. I need to find a better way to hide that. Do I, do I put little, uh, little shrubs, like a little shrub over each of them? So it looks like it's a... Uh, you know, some of that low-growth island stuff. I mean, I wouldn't mind putting seagrass on there, but you can't. It has The uh, seagrass has to go in water. Right. Oh. Well, let's put the ones we intended on there, huh? There we go. Since we had a crack, so let's put one there. And maybe throw some cracked there and there. Yeah, there we go. And run the mossy over there. There's no, there are no accidents. There, there are no mistakes. There's just happy little accidents. Got a little mossy stone there, and a little crack stone there. I had a teacher that I swear he was like the Bob Ross of programming. And you get your happy little note over here in Texas, and you get your happy little note over there. In Cleveland. And when you need to sync everything together, they all talk to your happy little node over here in New York. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm mad that I can't even remember his name now. Because he was a good teacher. I learned a lot from his classes. Um, just that kind of special. If you shaved Bob Ross down to a respectable haircut and uh, a 
and had him teaching programming at a at a college. Yeah, beginner programming. You'd have had this teacher. Now you don't want to do that because then your computer's gonna throw up green smoke. No, I have no idea why it was green smoke or why it mattered that the smoke was green uh, other than it was going to be a problem and you weren't going to like the way that turned out. Probably also finish filling up that barrel with some lava too. Go get some more lava buckets. I know exactly where to get some. Here I am complaining about electric durability and I'm flying back and forth within walking distance. Within enderpearl distance. It, I, I'm, I think if I remember right, if I throw from here, I can make it from here to the island or just about... There we go. surprised we haven't had a uh, wandering trader show up in a little while. Usually one would have turned up by now. I mean, I'd never show on air what happens to wandering traders that show up after we're done with them. something. Couldn't figure out why I couldn't hear anything for a while uh, over the weekend then I realized that my game noise was still set down to like 20 from when I was showing off the uh, gold farm. Oops. Should have called the foundation expert. I mean, this is what happens when you build on sand, right? Fill that side in, even though I'm pretty sure the shack's going to cover up a fair amount of that anyway. That will do like that. Right over the middle of the arch, just to make things especially troubling. Curiosity than any need is the rest of our. Uh... Oh, come on. Oh. It finished up the last time. Oh, 
Snore. Um, I need a lot of endstone. Like a lot, a lot of endstone. Eh. No. I need. I return to my original. I need a lot of endstone. Just like moving in the real world, you, you find stuff that you didn't even realize you had. I found a bunch of chests that I didn't realize I even had. I'm going to go to my wallet of importance. I'm going to grab out shulkers for... Eh, it's got to make all six boxes. Not like I won't need them later anyway. I'll go to the end anyway for more shulkers. Before too long. I'm actually slightly surprised. For some reason, I thought, uh, oh, actually, let me use the ink right now. Uh, oh, because <laughs> I only grabbed six shells. Let me put that down there. Let's get the end brick. same box, but we'll put the purple stuff in there as well. Let me... That's right. Let me die one of those. Two of those. Just in there for now, and let me go grab a whole bunch of uh, blackstone. Since uh, I'm going to need a bunch of it. Um, the ghast I get. Why is there a cat head on the end portal? Is this a question I really... No, you know, I don't I don't really want the answer to that one. I'm just going to uh, quietly go about my way. For some reason, I thought that was you, to be honest. I might steal that llama. Because that's what I'm looking for in a llama, is at least nine... Was it Reyes, then? I mean, if there's anybody else that does not like a cat. Oh, hush, guys. For serious. God, God, get mad. Get mad. Oh no, I am opening a box. Whatever will you do while I open a box? Alright, 
size three. Seriously, guys. I know how to make you nicer, but I don't have time to sit here. Uh, yeah. I need to spend a little time uh, AFK over here anyway. Oh, never mind. I'm not using quartz. Um... Oh, no. There, there's a, uh... There was an ender chest. No, there's an ender chest right over here. Okay. I put it there, too. I put it there to make sure that there was always an ender chest nearby. Somewhere. Alright. Down to my last 48 shulker shells. Need to do something about that. Go grab. Uh, let's go grab some more end stones since I'm here. Uh, yeah, since I need to change my style of diplomacy. to walk into the dungeon. I'm not even going... There we go. Now, do I... No, I don't want to take it all out of here. Let's, uh... Let's use this guy. Uh, I wanted to grab more endstone. I'm going to need a lot more endstone. Plots is telling me that I'm going to need about 5,068 blocks total uh, between all the building materials. And uh, I, I think I've got those measurements wrong anyway. Because I, I thought my base circle was a different size than I had in here. And now I'm also starting to think I got that circle wrong anyway. So. Uh, this is the way we mine some endstone, huh? I mean, I could always rant about some of the stuff they were talking about on Cord Killers today. Not... I'm not mad at the cord killers people, just to be clear. Uh, <laughs> I'm mad more about the way things are setting up. Like, uh, NFL just finished their deals with the various networks uh, to cover things into uh, 2033. So all the contracts they signed are 11-year contracts. 11 years uh, which means if you're not happy with it tough because this is the way it's going to be until 2033 uh, one of those deals being that Thursday Night Football is now exclusively Amazon Prime uh, they did say that the various networks that bought uh, various games will now have will now be able to use them like Paramount can put it on Paramount Plus and Disney can put it on uh, ESPN Plus and uh, or Disney Plus uh, etc etc so it's all going to be you you can if your if the network that bought the rights to one of the games has a streaming service, they are allowed to put it on the streaming service in addition to airing it over the air. Um, but I think what really irks me is the way... The way it's divvied up, it's not, it's not even divvied up, like, by team. Like, you know, Amazon bought the rights to the Patriots. 
and, and CBS bought the rights to the Buccaneers. Um, it's Amazon bought the rights to Thursday Night Football. So I think as somebody like Mr. Beach Duck, who wants to watch football, um, he is the sort that wants to watch all the football. Uh, nobody has all the football. Because it's hard to make money selling all the football to one person or opening it up. It's <laughs> You can make a lot more money if you section it up and divvy it out uh, ostensibly. Uh, although the, the NFL ticket season pass something or other uh, claims to have all the games, but they claim to have all the games before and it was all the games with an asterisk. All the games you could watch a day after they aired. Uh, that's that's not all the games. But, you know, nobody was going to tell them. And, yeah, I, and I, I just... I see it working more like if they had bought by team. Like, I can see somebody saying, I'm a New Orleans Saints fan. I just want to watch all the New Orleans Saints games. So you subscribe to the one package that has all the New Orleans Saints games. And that would be one thing, but you can't even do that. So if you've got Paramount Plus and, uh, I put my box, there we go. Uh, so if you've got Paramount Plus and Amazon Prime, then uh, you can't watch all the Saints games or all the Patriots games or all the all the Buccaneers games or all the Cowboys games or I don't know pick pick your flavor um, I don't know it, it's just really really stupid this is one of the areas ironically that uh, Major League Baseball has right because they've got it they, they've got a pretty simple set way if you want to watch baseball yeah you know, whoever carries baseball streaming will carry all the baseball streaming except maybe for your local games your local games may be blacked out and they use some some it kind of almost works geofencing to make sure that you know, if you live in uh, Atlanta, you, you have to watch the local affiliate for the Braves game. You know, that kind of thing. Which makes... Seriously, are you guys pushing me around? Don't stop pushing me around. I'll push back. Also, uh, I meant to ask Arcadius if he saw the uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier because that has apparently started airing on Disney Plus, and, and there were uh, there were reactions to it. <laughs> Although they're they're not sure if they had reactions to it or the fact that it doesn't measure up to WandaVision in terms of production quality and writing. They, they were fair and valid reactions. Uh, especially since the, the two title characters are, at least for the first episode, more coincidentally also in characters. And they spent a lot of time hammering in that this is happening after the snap. Like, eh, all the conversations are about, like, and can you believe billions of people are back on the planet again? Can you believe that, like, uh, it apparently got very, very excessively, um, seriously, Marvel, you're better than this. Although, uh, to be fair... Falcon and the Winter Soldier, like the latter half of WandaVision, suffered from production problems since they were in the middle of working on it 
and then COVID hit. Like, th there's a noticeable uh, change in quality in WandaVision. It, like, you can tell when COVID hit during the production process. And Falcon and the Winter Soldier was set to happen after anyway, so it, it's one of those, like, you're going to notice the difference earlier because they, they hadn't even finished filming the first episode when COVID hit. So there, there's been a fair amount of speculation as to how much of the trouble is we were in the middle of filming and we couldn't film because COVID hit. And I, I can see that. I can see that. That that makes a little that makes a little more sense. Um, there was there was some other feedback that I know I wanted to write in when I got home, and I swore I would remember what. It, oh, <laughs> uh, my dad will be happy. Roku bought the rights to this old house and all fifteen hundred back episodes. The entire catalog of 1,500 episodes of this old house. So, uh, if you subscribe to Roku's main channel, and I, 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 oh, and they're also, they're still going to show up on PBS as well. Uh, it turns out that this old house was actually going to finally get, uh, shut down and Roku bought them to keep producing episodes. Um, I might have to look up some finishing up. <laughs> Hello, Beach Duck. Uh, trust me, I understand all about late nights. Especially since I have late starts. <laughs> that, that's actually been my biggest problem at work is, uh, I, I was having some sleep problems kicking in and then, uh, daylight shenanigans time hit. Yeah, I may I may go look at the finishing, but I'm not sure that the the finishing from this old house is going to be the finishing that I need. Although they did more than just I need to find like uh the Yankee workshop where they did more of the furniture type stuff. Cuz that's going to be a little bit closer to what I'm doing than you know the the home floor and wall finishing that kind of stuff. I do need to get cranking on building my guitar kit. So I can get in a little practice before the official uh, Great Guitar Build-Off kit. I noticed that the fret wire has an uncut body blank. Uh, that's back to back green stock. So it's a, uh, a giant uh, <laughs> slate of wood just waiting to be uh, cut into whatever shape. Whatever shape you want. I don't even know what I would do for a custom shaped guitar at this point. I mean, I wouldn't mind cutting a Les Paul, but uh, if I was going to do that, I'd probably just get the Les Paul kit out and out instead of uh, instead of the uncut body, especially since I don't have the templates for that. I'd have to make sure it was something simple, though. Oh. <laughs> and I don't think I'll get it. But they have in stock again a... Or, sorry, the front wire has in stock again a kit that... Um, it's a Strat-style body. It's an ST kit. But it has some... Seriously, guys. I will break out my sword. And only one of us will be happy about this. Um, it has... I'm trying to figure out how to describe this. Like... It's almost as if you were trying to reduce the weight of the body. It, ha it has a uh, inside shell-like swirl pattern carved into it, but massive chunks of wood are missing from the body. Um, I 
And I guess what, what really makes it odd for me is that it's a Strat-style body that they did that with. Because when we're talking about guitars that make the chiropractor smile, Stratocasters are not among those. Now, you want to talk about a Les Paul? Uh, Les Pauls make the chiropractor smile. Or, uh, you know, the 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 double neck Les Paul that, uh, was it The Who or Led Zeppelin? One of, one of those guys used. Yeah, that that makes that makes the chiropractor grin with glee. Because, yeah, you, you're gonna need some adjustments after that. All right. Probably don't want to eat away the entire island where you actually start at. So let me go find another spot. Maybe somewhere with less of those guys around. Or no, they're they're just gonna keep following me. Right. I guess I should replant some of these guys too. Nah. Because uh, I think I think before too long I might need to retrim the end anyway. Although we didn't have to, we didn't, the last time we went looking for shulker boxes, we didn't have to go that far to find cities. I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not like this is some servers where, you know, people go finding a shulker box full of shulker shells in a four hour live stream. thought about the fact that I still got to find my way home. That, that might be an issue. Eh, I'll cross. I'll burn that bridge when I get there. Now there was something else, there was something else on Cord Killers that I was going to rant about that I needed to write in about. It might have been about uh, oh they were talking about with uh Black Widow and Cruella, the Cruella movie, where they're trying to make her a little less of a villain, which, I, never mind, I'm not even going to go on about that. They're, they're going to do those day and date, and there was some, something about the purchase options for Wonder Woman 1984, and... Some other weirdness about windowing. I, I don't I don't remember exactly what the whole segment was about. Just that it reminded me that I was rather irked with the way uh, the studios are doing some of the windowing stuff. Like I, I was looking for, I, I was homesick uh, Saturday with a bit of an upset stomach, and, and so I went to uh, I went to go rent a movie to watch, and I thought about what. Uh, renting Wonder Woman 1984 to see if it was as bad as everybody said it was. And it wasn't available for rent. Like, at all. You could buy it, but you can't rent it. And I'm sorry. A, I'm not buying a digital movie for 25 bucks. Period. Full stop. Unless you're going to give me the set. Like, for 25 bucks, I might get Wonder Woman 1, 2, and a promissory note for 3. Um, but I sure am not, <laughs> I'm not buying one of them for 25 bucks, period, full stop. 10 to 12 bucks is my limit. Um, and, and again, you, you're going to let me buy it, but you're not going to let me rent it. What sense does that make? Like, like, just let me rent it. I have four bucks that I'm willing to give you for a 24-hour pass. Just let let me rent it, please. I have money. I'm even willing to give it to you. Just let me rent the movie. But for whatever reason, the studios just that they they like their windowing. They think that it's 1985, and uh, 
you know, you need to window things out between when it's in the theater or when it's out available for rental and when it's out for purchase, when it goes to HBO and then when it goes on to the, the Saturday night movie slot on over the air TV. That's <laughs> and it's not. Like there, there's no good reason. There's no good reason why I shouldn't have been able to spend five bucks, rent it. Well, three bucks. I'm, I'm not sure that I would have rented it for five. I mean, I am hate watching a video, not you know watching watching a video. I'll spend five bucks to rent something I actually know I'll like, or am reasonably certain that I'll like. Which is why I rented Deadpool 2 instead. Which I may have to go out and buy now that I think about it. I was a little worried. I, I, I thought it was going to be... The, the reviews were a little negative and, and left me thinking that maybe it wasn't going to be worth the, worth the time. No, it was worth it. Sorry, a little bit of a dry throat there. Um, yeah. There was something else they were going on about that reminded me of the fact that one of one of Brian's big shticks is if you feel like you're spending too much just cancel everything buy anytime you feel like you want to watch a show buy it and then if you find yourself buying enough then then go ahead and subscribe to the service that provides all the things that you're talking about buying um that that's a really like short two second way of explaining something that that is a really good way to kind of get a sense for what you're going to spend on a service um my issue my my issue keeps coming back around to the fact that because of the way the studios are stuck in the 1980s, I can't always buy it. Like, if I wanted to watch The Witcher without subscribing to Netflix, I can't go out and buy The Witcher. If I wanted to watch The Man in the High Castle and not subscribe to Amazon Prime, I can't just buy The Man in the High Castle. Um, or The Boys. If I wanted to just watch... If I just wanted The Boys, I can't buy it. I have to be an Amazon Prime member to watch it. And I only have access to it so long as I am subscribed to Amazon Prime. So... Like, seriously, I, I can't, uh, you know, it's another case of, like, look, I'd, I'd love to give you money. I really would. I, I'm sitting here telling you that I am most definitely, honestly, willing to give you money. Please let me give you money. And... <laughs> No, we, we, we don't want your money to buy it. We just want your money to, to each month. We, we want the monthly VIG. We, we don't want your money, but we do want your VIG. To pay for the service. To watch that, amongst other things. I didn't get that into the void, did I? Oh, well. Maybe I should have done nothing but eat coarse fruit while I'm here. No. <laughs> no, that would not have been fun. That would not have been fun at all.
And today's politics, politics, politics was a little short. Mostly because Justin's studio is packed up and on its way to Austin. That's going to be a, a... The episodes are going to be a little interesting between now and the beginning of April. Uh, I, I wonder if he's going to suffer the same problem that some people have where you get about 80% unpacked and then just kind of everything fizzles a little bit. And you got a couple of boxes that you know you ought to unpack. It shouldn't take that long to unpack. You could unpack it, you know, really quick, but I mean, there's no pressing need. They're not in the way. You don't need what's in there right now. I mean, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Yeah. And if you believe that, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. about 5,000 blocks, give or take. Uh, half of them are going to be the Blackstone. Some of that's going to be glass for the bubble at the top. I'm not even sure what I'm going to make the cap at the top out of, too. I might do that as stone. Just, uh, or... Mm. That is a good question. So I've got the stone foundation. I'm going to do black stone and end stone for the stripes. Do I make the cap where the light at the lighthouse is stone to kind of bookend the colors? Or, or do I just make it the color of whatever the next stripe would have been. Because that is definitely something that I don't want to build, tear down, build, tear down. Should have brought a uh, flint and steel to burn those. Actually, no, I should be bringing them back with me because that's the whole reason why I set up the uh, coarse fruit farm in the first place. Just to farm those guys, but uh, I, don't, I, didn't, I don't have inventory space to play around with. At least not yet. I still got to figure out what the optimal spacing for those guys is. Alright, anyway, we were talking about uh, the lighthouse and whether or not I ought to make the cap the same color as one of the stripes or stone for the, like, the foundation. I think... I think I'm going to build the cap a little bit shorter than what they have in the plots model anyway. Unless, well no, given the, given the size that might look a little wrong. Yeah, given the size of that, that might just look a little wrong. So now i got to figure out, uh... I'm gonna have to light that. The the taller that is, the more interesting that's gonna be to figure out how to light. Hmm. That could be interesting. I mean I got of course the bigger the bigger the bubble at the top, the more room on the inside I have for the, the redstone. That was that was part of the the limiting issue for 
the uh, the lighthouse in season zero is the the size of the bubble meant the redstone for for the light had to be super compact. Ah, uh, and we managed to make it work, and it looked really nice. But it just had to be super compact. But that redstone's only going to work for light rings that are one to three blocks high. Anything more than that, and it's not really going to work out all that well. Um, I mean, I guess I could... I might be able to double that up, which would get me to lighthouses that are six, seven blocks high, or, or bubbles that are six or seven blocks high. I think that's more than that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that, that's going to be eight, eight-ish blocks high. So I could have, or do I just want to go uh, old school and put a big honking fire in it and make it look like it's a lighthouse you know like a no no because this this design doesn't fit that kind of fire i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to redstone it okay i don't i don't have to but could just put a bunch of uh sea lanterns or glowstone or something like that and make it so it's always late Where's the fun in that? If you're going to go through the trouble of lighting it up, you might as well either make it look uh, period appropriate or more like a light. And I don't mean like a solid light. I mean like get a spinny light. to the original question. How, how many of these, how many shulker boxes of this stuff am I going to need? Because it's what, 64 items per stack? Nine stacks per row. 27 per shulker box. Something something math. Although, if I pick up more than I need, I'm, I'm pretty sure the rest will get used by somebody at some point, right? Or am I the only one who's ever going to use endstone? We put room for it in the storage system. I kind of figured that meant that somebody would use it at some point. No? Bueller? that again when uh medic's on i guess see if he's planning on doing anything with uh endstone or if he would actually do anything with endstone i don't think rayest likes the the color for the endstone anyway uh both in terms of the raw texture and the brick uh i'll admit the yellow doesn't work in a lot of designs it is so dark out because i am wearing a carved pumpkin on my head and I'm wearing a carved pumpkin on my head so that they don't attack me. If you look at them without a pumpkin on your head, they get really mad and attack you. But for some reason, if you have a pumpkin on your head, they won't attack you. I, I don't make up the rules. The, that's just the way Minecraft works. So I always keep a carved pumpkin in my utility box. Just keep going until I wear my pick down. Oh, yeah. Let, let me not break a pick on stream. I'll never hear the end of it from Arcadius. 
especially as much flack as I give him for breaking really expensive pickaxes. Usually when he's doing projects like this where, where it's just endless farming. should have done something about the electro durability before I took off too. Hmm. Uh, ooh, do, is my is my flight box in uh, my ender chest? Don't think so. Hmm. Wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be a problem if that failed on my flight while I was out here, all unprepared for such a loss? Actually, now I'm kind of terrified and about ready to stuff everything I don't absolutely need into an ender chest, just in case. Actually, you know what? I might not fill up that last shulker box and instead. <laughs> I'll put everything, everything of value on me into it, so that way uh, I can put it in the ender chest and uh, just in case, just in case the flight back goes awry. Oh man, I, I wish I hadn't thought about that. Now I'm gonna be so paranoid until I'm back into the overworld. All right. finish up this last little bit and then I'll head back because I do want to show uh, Beach Duck the color palette that I'm trying to work with. And it's on a build like this that I find myself wishing that there were more more variety of blocks with uh, end stone like uh, cracked. Um, I was going to say mossy but I, I don't I don't think mossy end stone would make sense. Chiseled end stone would be nice. I don't know what it would look like because all, all the different, uh, other than uh, other than the chiseled stone, oh smooth, smooth end stone would probably be nice too. Um, all right, if chiseled nether brick looks like the piglin snout. And some of the other chiseled varieties that aren't normal stone look like uh, various critters where you would find them. It, would that mean that chiseled end stone would look something like those guys? Like one of their faces chiseled in stone? That, uh... some ender pearls in case of an emergency. And I guess I might accidentally uh, lose my pick of soul touch. Yeah, okay. I need to be heading 
that way. A long, long way that way. This is mildly terrifying. Oh, 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 oh. Need elevation, elevation. Oh. Probably too far now. that island. Any day now. Oh, oh, because oh, I think that was over by negative 90 something. bad. That was almost bad. That was very nearly very bad. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's move away from the guys that are going to try to blow up what I'm working on. And then circle back around. Get them far enough away that they despawn and then come back. And the idea, Beach Duck, is that uh, this is going to be the foundation for a lighthouse over on this little island out here. And the thought was to do it with a stone brick foundation and then alternating rings of blackstone, endstone, blackstone, endstone, etc. until I get to whatever height I end up making it. Um, and then go from there. That. That was the thought. But then that does bring up the question, when I build the little cap at the top, do I make that stone? So we get a stone base and a stone top, and then the black and yellow stripes in the middle, or do I just make the top out of whatever the next stripe would be? So in other words, if we end up with uh, uh, a end stone stripe as the last stripe, and then the cap, make the cap out of the black stone, or vice versa. Or do I make it out of a completely different material altogether? But probably not a completely different material, though. Um. Well, that is the question. Although, I've got, uh, so now I've got a fair amount of blackstone. I've got some blackstone brick around here somewhere. Oh, oh, there it is in my inventory. I'll drop those guys in there just so that way, uh, 
and stone brick and sand. Goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Sorry. My uh, specialness is kicking in on that one. Everything has to be in its place. I don't know why. Would you know why, Beat Chuck? Why I must make sure that everything is in its perfect place? Just so that way, that's my that's my box of miscellany. Put that over there. There we go. All right, so I got three boxes of blackstone. I got two and a bit of endstone. I've got some bricks already made. I guess we'll see if I got enough. Uh, this layer is only going to be three. But if I'm going to follow the plots diagram, then that's going to be four, four, four on up. How tall do I want this? Hmm. I'm still not sure I got the circles right. Because if uh, the diameter on this one is... That's one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven... 13, 15, 17, 19. Different, uh, they're using different circles than I am. Alright, maybe this will just be uh, loosely based on the diagram by plots. And what I'll do is I'll go grab some of those. These and those and those and those. stone brick because the idea is I want to put a ring around the inside and then start building so it's offset by one ish maybe square that circle in Minecraft. I 
I feel like I didn't do that right. Maybe? put my uh, box of wool back down in case I need to measure some more stuff out. Eh. All right. I'll leave my pallet marker up there at least until I get the next few uh, the next few bits of wall built. Um, that way I remember what I finally decided on my uh, <laughs> color palette to be. And then I'll, I'll go back over to plots, settle in on a generation from there that I actually like that fits kind of fits what I got already. Because yeah, the way the way they do their circles is different than the diagram I was referencing when I did the initial circle design. Although I might tear this down and redo it anyway. Because, uh, yeah, I need to grab some slow falling and do that when I can, uh, observe a little more carefully. All right, let me go, let me go find a safe place to be. Since we're going to need rockets anyway, I'm going to head over to the AFK tower by the rocket farm. <laughs> well, it's not really a rocket farm. It's a sugar cane and gunpowder farm. It's a rocket farm. I'll uh, lock myself in here real quick. Or I forget, let me fill up my inventory so no shenanigans occur while I'm doing the outro. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Um, between Friday and today, I, I, I really think I'm going to try to keep to... Uh, uh, this kind of a low-key stream for this instead. Um, hopefully by the next time I get a, get a stream going, I'll have a little more progress on either the roof or the tree farm to show off. And then I'll get back to building the lighthouse on stream. That might be my on-stream project for the next little while. Aside from resource gathering for said lighthouse project. By the by... I still haven't figured out what I'm putting inside the lighthouse. I don't know if I'm going to decorate it as an actual building or stuff it full of like a uh, villager farm and crop farms and that kind of stuff. And I'm leaning towards that one because it's me. Um, and having a second uh, villager breeder would be kind of nice since uh, we almost lost all the villagers out of the last one. <laughs> and that was not, no, that, that was not, not fun. Not fun at all. This Friday, I will be returning to Games Revisited. Uh, I, I had to take a couple of Fridays off because just I, I was too tired. I was way too tired to do it justice. Uh, I will make sure that I am in a proper state of rest to pick that back up this coming Friday because I, I really hate that that's what's on the schedule and that's not what I did twice. Of course, here I am starting the stream late again, again, again. No again. Yes again. Um, but I'll have to get to cranking on that a little bit more too. But that would require me to leave work on time as well. Um, that's another that's another ramble for another day. If you haven't already, do follow on on the stream. Uh, it, these replays and the games revisited stuff go up on my YouTube channel later on. So if you missed a new part of what's going on and you want to catch up. You can watch the replay there. You can watch the replay on Twitch. Uh, and with all that said and done, I am going to actually remember this time to see who is still streaming that I might want to raid. And Beast Lord SJ, or 
SJ. I, I just combined two different people that I watch. Uh, Beast Lord J is still up and streaming. It looks like he's streaming Paladins. So if you can, do stick with me so we can go uh, send a few views his way and, and have fun with that. So I'm going to pop up the title card. Don't go. We will be uh, we will be raiding Beast Lord in just a few seconds. I got to do a couple things on uh, on my side, and you don't need to watch the video of me staring blankly at the screen. So hang tight. We're going to raid Beast Lord, and I'll see you next time.